Hey, Yumiko-san. Isn't it time you moved on to something more appropriate for your age? I... I really don't know what you're suggesting, Shiho-chan. Why are they ganging up on that dominatrix lady? Don't you think you're past your prime? Look, nobody wants you around. So listen to the number one girl and leave. But I... I do still have clients who request me. So for their sake, I can't just... Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. <laughs> My advice? Find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Got it, Granny Panties? <laughs> <laughs> But really, don't you think it's time to put down the whip? You could break a hip in those heels. No! I take pride in what I do. I've always done my best to help my clients leave happy, even if there aren't many left. I wasn't asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? <laughs> What's with that look? You want me to slap it off your face? All right, ladies, that's enough. Huh? I know it's none of my business, but you're taking this way too far. Huh. Oh, and frankly speaking, I think you're the ones bringing your club down, not her. Uh, what? Ew, what is with him? He one of yours, Yumiko-san? Only a loser would eavesdrop. This loser's only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could, really. I was just passing by. Then why don't you mind your own business? We don't have to listen to some random nobody. Forget it, girls. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. Yeah? Well, I am. Besides, I got an even better idea. Watch your back out there, Grams. Yeesh. Are you all right there? I am. Thank you. Yes, there's always haters no matter where you go. Sometimes life's a harsh mistress.
Hey, dude, have you lost it? Just leave me alone. Wait, don't I know you? The guy from the red light district. Uh. You're Mr. Masochist, right? So you've heard of me before. Mostly just rumors from a fetish club. Anyway, I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, is it? I'm Soda Makin O'Hara. Most people simply call me Mr. Masochist. Uh-huh. So, why were you headbutting a tree just now? Because I want to feel. I want to hurt. Oh, right. I heard something like that from the club owner. About how you can't feel pain anymore. That would be correct. As a true glutton for punishment, I've spent many a night getting beaten half to death. By beautiful women in leather, might I add. But that's beside the point. As the months turned into years, my senses began to dull. Eventually, I felt nothing. Happiness is fleeting, as they said. Dang. I know I started the conversation and all, but I can't relate to that. Like, at all. Here's who I really am. A man with a body unyielding, lusting for pain, yet never receiving. At least I built up muscle. They'd leave me twisted like a pretzel overnight sometimes. <laughs> Alas, I suppose this is no laughing matter. You're telling me. Which brings us to the tree. I thought it would hurt if I smashed it with my head. And did it? No. I felt stronger pain from a mosquito's embrace. Wow. This sounds like you've been through a lot, man. I don't know what to say. Much as I like to help, I should probably get going. Wait! Why don't you just hear me out? I noticed that you have a pretty solid physique, though it pales in comparison to mine. Okay. Uh, preference for whip ladies aside, I wish to test my endurance out on you. Beggars can't be choosers, as they say. So let me ask you, Kasuga-san. Will you strike me with everything you have? You want me to hit you? Yes. If it hurts, there's still hope. Use whatever tools you have at your disposal. Gang up on me if you have to. You asked for it. And trust me, we ain't no mosquitoes. All right. Then come at me! Take in the feet. Show me what you got. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Come on. Let's go! Yeah? Don't get caught. Right. Here we go. Let's 
do it. Yeah, but, yeah, but then... Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but then... Yeah, yeah but then... Cool. Yeah, but, yeah, but then... Yeah, but then... Right. You're in it now. Yeah, but, yeah, but then... Let's go. Yeah, but, yeah, but then... Yeah. That's enough. Good yeah. luck next time. Sumi no sen. For real? Yeah. Sumimasen deshita. Kasuga-san, is it? I'm Soda Makinohara. But most people simply call me Mr. Masochist. Hmm?
Okay. Sorry. Huh? What's going on? Who are you people? Oh, so this babe's Yumiko-chan, huh? Huh. She does look a bit on the older side, but <laughs> nothing a little lighting can't fix. <laughs> if anything, I like my ladies mature. Can't get enough of those milfs, huh? <laughs> what is this? Remember how we talked about sales? I thought I'd find you a little side job. Help make ends meet. Aren't I the sweetest? Shio chan why? Don't sweat the details. Now this might get a little bit freaky, but isn't that your specialty? <laughs> Don't do this! Let me go! I know that voice. Yumiko-chan! Damn! Where is she? Put the fuck down! Dude, roll the camera. You can edit this shit out later. Quit squirming! 
You don't want me cutting more than your clothes, do you? Stop! Crap! He's gonna do it! What in the fuck? Oh, I figures. I could be hit by a truck buck naked and still wouldn't feel a thing. Who's this dirty old creep? Nice save, Mr. Masochist! Kasuga-san? Oh, great. Another one. Look, we're filming something important here, so why don't you go piss off? Oh, am I in it? My agent never told me about this. Who wants to see your scroungy-looking ass? What? You plan on sticking around? Then we'll stick you to the side of the pavement! Damn straight! Join me at the scare. Right. Try this on the side. Bullseye! Yeah. I'm not backing down. You're a fighter. Get alive! Cool. Come on now! You're weak. I'm up! You're in it now! Let's do it! Yeah. 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 Scumbags and get lost. What you did to Yumiko was way beyond sick. And don't let there be a next time. Yes, sir. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks again for being there. Oh, and you too. You have no idea how grateful I am. Don't be. I'm not that important anyway. I'm pretty much a dead man walking. Numb to pleasure, numb to pain. <sighs> For a guy like me, there's only one way out. Come on, you don't mean that. Normally I charge an arm and a leg for a slap like that, but you needed some sense knocked into you. You saved me from the worst nightmare I've ever experienced. I was scared out of my mind. Yet the first thing out of your mouth is how unimportant and worthless you are? That's not only disrespectful to me, but you disrespect yourself when you say things like that. <sighs> Yumiko-chan. <gasps> that... Oh, that stings. Hmm? Anyway, I wanted to return the favor for helping me out not only once, but twice. I know it's not much, but I hope you like it anyway. As for you, let me say thank you again. Sorry I had to hit you. But what can I give you? If I may. Would asking for another smack be too much? Huh? When you hit me just now, I was stunned. I haven't felt that kind of pain in ages! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I go too far? The opposite! I don't mean to freak you out, but I love being stepped on, spit on, crushed, maimed, you name it. But lately I haven't been able to feel things, whether you tie me up or beat me down. That all changed with you! Never have I felt such burning admonition in my life. What you did was tenderize my heart. So please, I'm begging you. Tenderize my flesh once more! With this! You know I won't hold back. Wouldn't want you to, ma'am. Now execute me. Like you mean it, baby! So good! <laughs> You're a naughty little boy. I'm at a loss for words. I've never been lacerated so lovingly before. 
perhaps this has been too forward. But could you flog me senseless like this from now until the end of time? I promise I'll make you satisfied. We could live strappily ever after together. Yeah, too far, dude. Oh, <laughs> that's quite a tempting offer. A man who loves pain and a woman who lives to give it. You can't put a label on romance, I guess. Huh. Wonder what they named their kid. Thank <laughs> you.